भगवत अर्हत सुद्धस नमो तस् भगवत अर्हत सुद्धस so today i will just start with by giving some update about sister khema sister khema has a uh, kind of developed uh, a, a, i think cough and cold and that is a reason her dental appointment has been delayed and she is also not able to come today and uh, i uh, will be kind of reading a sutta which i found which is kind of similar to a sutta which is uh, uh, sister khema kind of shares uh, a lot of time uh, it is about a uh time of uh, death what advice uh, can be given so there is one sutta in majjhimanika uh, where uh, i think sariputta is uh, giving an advice to a lay person and it is basically about uh, it is not me it is not mine it is not myself but over there over here in this sutta it is about a wise uh, lay person that means that uh, it is indicating that the person is a sota panna and uh, how does an another wise uh, lay person advise him so this is uh, the sutta in samyutta nikaya so i am kind of re uh, really bad with the numbering of, of some samyutta nikaya so i have, i will not be able to uh, tell you exactly where this sutta is but uh, this sutta is in uh, i think the uh, the fourth book and uh, the number is 54 uh, oblique four ill that is uh, in as in illness so it starts as on one occasion the blessed one was dwelling among the sakyans at kapilavastu in nigordas park now on that occasion a number of bhikkhus were making a robe for the blessed one thinking after the three months with his robe completed the blessed one will set out on tour mahana mother sakyan heard a number of bhikkhus it is said are making a robe for the blessed one thinking that after the three months with this his robe completed the blessed one will set out on tour then mahana mother sakyan approached the blessed one paid homage to him sat down to one side and said to him venerable sir i heard that a number of bhikkhus are making a robe for the blessed one now i have not heard and learned in the presence of the blessed one how a wise lay follower who is sick afflicted and gravely ill should be exhorted by another wise lay follower now uh, if you remember uh, we had also had one other uh, sutta from the angutra nikaya which also starts out in the similar manner where uh, mahanama the sakyan comes and asks uh, buddha about how the, uh, uh, the uh, do the lay person conduct himself so that means that uh, mahanama frequents uh, the buddha in the rains time and is kind of seeking advice for the lay community a wise lay follower mahanama who is sick afflicted gravely ill should be consoled by another wise lay follower with four consolations so this four consolations is also uh, something similar to a uh, sukta we had covered in angutra nikaya where uh, the buddha says that how a uh, person who uh, uh, has faith in buddha dhamma sangha and uh, follows the precepts can uh, consider himself a sota panna so this is in the same way he is saying that the four uh, four consolations he has to be asked you have a confirmed confidence in the uh, buddha thus one second the blessed one is an arahant perfectly enlightened accomplished in true knowledge and conduct fortunate knower of the world unsurpassed trainer of persons to be tamed teacher of devas and humans the enlightened one the blessed one he possesses unwavering confidence in the dhamma thus the dhamma is well expounded by the blessed one directly visible immediate inviting one to come and see applicable to be personally experienced by the wise he possesses unwavering confidence in the sangha thus the sangha of the blessed one's disciple is practicing the good way practicing the straight way practicing the true way practicing the proper way that is the four pairs of persons the eight types of individuals 
this sangha of the blessed ones disciples is worthy of gifts worthy of hospitality worthy of offering worthy of reverential salutation the unsurpassed field of merit for the world he possesses the virtuous behavior loved by the blessed one by the noble ones unbroken flawless unblemished unblotched free praised by the wise ungrasped leading to concentration these are the four factors of stream entry that he possesses so uh, he kind of uh, reminds uh, mahanama that these are the four uh, things no, so mahanama he is advising mahanama that the the, uh, the lay person who is uh, on the death bed should be reminded of this four uh, qualities good qualities that uh, one possesses and uh, the, uh, the, uh, the he has to kind of uh, remind the person that see these are the good qualities which are possessing and it is also an indication that the person is already uh, a sotapanna he is already wise he already knows uh, about uh, certain aspects by practicing the dhamma after a wise lay follower who is sick afflicted gravely ill has been counseled by a wise lay follower with these four consolations he should be asked are you anxious about your mother and father if he says i am he should be told but good sir you are subject to death whether you are anxious about your mother and father or not you will die anyway so please abandon your anxiety over your mother and father so uh, first advice is that if there are uh, relatives your mother father so you have to uh, kind of abandon the thoughts uh, about them uh, worry about the worldly uh, connections which you have first that should be abandoned if he says i have abandoned my anxiety over my mother and father he should be asked are you anxious about your wife and children if he says i am he should be told but good sir you are subject to death whether you are anxious about your wife and children or not you will die anyway so please abandon your anxiety over your wife and children if he says i have abandoned my anxiety over my wife and children he should be asked are you anxious about the five codes of human sensual pleasure if he says i am he should be told celestial sensual pleasure my friend are more excellent sublime than human sensual pleasure so please withdraw your mind from human sensual pleasures and resolve on the devas of the realm of the four great kings so uh, one uh, if he is one is attached to its sense pleasures that are from the five senses or uh, the six senses if, if you mind is also considered then uh, he has to be reminded that uh, th these are there are a greater uh, uh, happiness the greater uh, thing is about the heavenly realm but the in, uh, it starts with the four great kings uh, uh, so that is what uh, he has to be reminded if he says my mind has been withdrawn from human sensual pleasures and resolved on the devas of realm of the four great kings he should be told tavatimsa devas friends are more excellent sublime than the devas of the realm of the four great kings so please withdraw your mind from the devas of the uh, realm of uh, four great kings and resolve on the tavatimsa devas so progressively uh, the mind is being directed to an higher and higher and sub, uh, subtle and sublime uh, uh, experience so you are directing your mind and uh, to some uh, something which is more sublime and you have to remember that this person is considered to be a wise lay person who has at least uh, attained uh, sota panna <coughs> so please uh, if he says yes my mind has been withdrawn from the devas of the realm of the four great kings and resolved on the de uh, tavatimsa deva he should be told more excellent and sublime friend than the tavatimsa devas are the yama devas and then the tavatimsa devas then the nimmana rati devas then the parinimmana rati devas then the brahma world friend is more excellent and sublime than the parinimma 
the vasavarti deva so please withdraw your mind from the parinimma parinimitta vasav sorry i am really not able to pronounce this parinimma tri vasavarti devas and resolve on the brahma world if he says my mind has been withdrawn uh, and resolved on the brahma world he should be told even the brahma world friend is impermanent unstable included in identity so please withdraw your mind from the brahma deva brahma world and direct it to the cessation of identity so now uh, after uh, he has been told about all the deva realms he has been kind of urged to withdraw his uh, attention away from all uh, subtle things also and put it on the most subtle thing which is the cessation of identity cessation of identity is also a uh, parallel word for the nibbana so when uh, a person is kind of uh, directing his mind uh, towards nibbana so i'll i'll read the uh, note by bikhu bodhi about this uh, point this injection is intended to turn the mind of the dying lay follower away from a rebirth in the brahma world and direct it towards the atta attainment of nibbana so now uh, after the mind is kind of settled on a certain very uh, fine uh, aspect of the uh, human uh possibility which is the brahma world then uh, uh, uh the mind is being directed towards the ultimate uh, goal of the practice which is nibbana so they they are asking uh, the person who is on his death bed to kind of redirect his mind if he says my mind has been withdrawn uh, from the devas and resolved on the brahma world he should be told even the brahma world friend is impermanent if he says my mind has been withdrawn from the brahma world i have di uh, directed my mind to the cessation of identity then mahanama i say there is no difference between a lay follower who is thus liberated in mind and a bhikkhu who has been liberated in mind for a hundred years this that is between one liberation and the other so now the buddha is a uh, kind of uh, giving a kind of a very profound uh, information over here in this line i'll read it once again i say there is no difference between a lay follower who is thus liberated in mind and a bhikkhu who has been liberated in mind for a hundred year that is between one liberation and another what uh, uh, it is kind of indicating is that the person now has attained arahanthood so the person is a lay person and the uh, person uh, being lay does not uh, kind of stop him from attaining arahanthood but this has been kind of mentioned uh, in other sutta as uh, in other situation which bhikkhu bodhi kind of clarifies so i'll uh, read the bhikkhu bodhi's clarification on this also the phrase vimuttiya vimuttam is also in angutra nikaya 3 34 6 and 7 also referring to arahantsve uh, arahantship when one liberation is compared to another there is no difference to be described when the path or fruit is penetrated there is no difference between lay followers and bhikkhus the buddha statement thus indicates that the lay follower has become an arahant apart from the few instances of lay people who attained arahant ship just before renouncing the household life so this is also important that just before renouncing their household life they had become arahants like yasa in uh, this must be vinaya v i n vinaya 1 17 1 2 this may be the only mention of a lay arahant in the nikayas and in this case the attainment occurs on the verge of death uh i think these are the commentaries commentary lays down the thesis that a lay person who attains arahantship either goes for that day becomes a monk or nun or passes away into final nibbana 
so this is also <coughs> a comment by bikhu bodhi about the state of a uh, person who has attained arahanthood so this has been uh, discussed uh, in our circles and uh, this has kind of uh, come up again and i have spoken with bante vimal ramsi also on this uh, subject so it it seems that uh, there is a possibility that a lay person becomes an arahant and uh, over here it is the only instance it has been said about a person who is on a that bed so there is one other uh, sutta uh, like there are uh, uh, quite a few suttas which explains uh, the situation where a uh, anagami attains uh, arahanthood now uh, when an anagami is there uh, the attainment of arahanthood can come at the uh, time of death which is uh, what we kind of uh, explained over here it can happen at uh, the uh, moment of that that is when he is dying at that process he may attain arahanthood it may happen that the uh, consciousness leaves the body and goes towards the brahma world in between this space he attains arahanthood means he uh, leaves the consciousness leaves the body but does not reach the brahma world in the in the travel between time he can attain arahanthood then uh when the uh, consciousness uh, touches uh, the brahma world when he appears in the brahma world immediately he may attain arahanthood he may attain arahanthood after some time staying in uh, brahma world uh, that sometime could be hundreds of thousands of years also and he can attain it after uh, staying that long time so there are five brahma worlds in the uh, non return uh, sphere so he can go through all those brahma worlds and attain uh, arahanthood afterwards so there is a indication about a person getting or uh, attaining arahanthood at the time of uh, uh, passing away so over here uh, uh, it is not clear if it is uh, uh, kind of uh, referring only to a uh, anagami because a person has been mentioned as wise wise lay uh, follow that means that the person can be as uh, sotapanna sakdagami or an anagami so the buddha is also giving a, a kind of indication that th there can be a possibility that a lay person may attain arahanthood uh, but uh, also uh, 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 it is kind of indicating that it may be a lay uh, person who has in a circumstances may be special now uh, regarding this question about lay person becoming an arahant there is also a, a sutta in bajivanika uh, vacha guta sutta i think so in that the buddha uh, is asked uh, by vacha guta that uh, if uh, there are any uh, sotapannas uh, in the uh, bikkhu co community so he said not one but more than 500 uh, bikkhus are there who are sotapannas if he is asked uh, is there uh, any uh, one in the uh, nan community uh who has attained sotapanna so buddha says not one or two but more than 500 he asks about the lay male community so he says more than 500 uh and asks about the lay uh, female community then uh, buddha says more than 500 are uh, sotapanna in the same way he asks for sadagami and anagami but when uh, the buddha is asked about the, the arahants the buddha mentions only about the uh, monks and Uh, nuns he says that more than 500 monks have attained arahanthood and more than 500 nuns have attained arahanthood so buddha uh, does not mention the lay community in that sense so that means that it is not a common occurrence that a, a person may attain uh, arahanthood so this is uh, a indication that it is possible but it is not a uh, kind of uh, a common occurrence it is a rare occurrence even at, in the time of the buddha And, and with his uh, teachings so this is a sutta which is a kind of uh, interesting to me because it is uh, kind of giving a unique uh, perspective about uh, attainment and the process of that because it, it is a, a little different from other suttas where uh, the focus is on the uh, it is not me it is not mine non -identific identification but over here the buddha is giving another route uh, to the mind which is identification with the subtler and subtler and subtler uh, uh, 
uh, aspects of uh, the mind until uh, the person mn sutta number uh, mn sutta number i'll 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 have to find out i'll i'll tell you or i'll send you a message because i i got uh, but mn sutta is uh, i think uh, uh, of sariputta so i'll i'll share with you this is uh, the sutta at the time of death so uh, that uh, sat, uh, the subtle uh, more and more subtle uh, the uh, mind goes and after that it is directed to the most subtle aspect which is about nibbana so this is a different kind of uh, uh, approach the buddha is uh, uh, teaching so that is what uh, is interesting in reading the suttas uh, which are varied suttas is you get uh, different kind of approaches different kind of ways of looking at the same uh, uh, thing so is there any questions on this uh, sutta um thank you bante um first of all i i missed the reference the sort of that you were reading from um uh, see it is very difficult for me to give the reference because this is from samyutta nikaya uh, uh the samyutta nikaya the sutta uh, is i'll tell you one second <coughs> is uh, 54 yep 4 uh in brackets 4 and the uh, sutta name is ill as in illness i l l okay and uh, i think this comes uh, in book of uh, one second huh? location over here uh, is of uh, kindle i have i i don't know uh, how it uh, I don't, don't worry i i i can find it from the information you've given me okay. um i've got one one question um mm -hmm. in the first part of the sutta um when we're talking about uh are you anxious about mother and father about uh, wife and child mm -hmm. yeah. um uh the invitation here is to abandon the anxiety Yes. But once we get to the cause essential pleasure the invitation is um to withdraw from this level because the next level is more seductive. Correct. Okay. So I'm interested in the difference between abandoning and withdrawing if you like because with at one level you're withdrawing from it so you're you're abandoning that level for another level. Yeah. so uh, if you can see that uh, from the uh, uh, attachment level say one is attached to his mother uh, mother and father mm -hmm. uh, more than uh, they would be attached to uh, the wife and the kid that mm -hmm. is what uh, uh, the basic uh, premise is over here and one would be uh, uh, attached more to uh, the uh, life in the, the four great kings the heaven of the four great kings mm -hmm. then he would be attached to this so he is going from the attachments Uh, uh, to a subtler and subtler attachment, what a person will have. Yeah. yeah. And after that, uh, he says that uh, get yourself attached to the most subtle thing, yes. which is the nibbana. So yes. it's a kind of progression. I I can see that. I'm just interested in the difference between abandoning and withdrawing. What's the What's the difference between those? Because one is in is appealing to the intellect going look you're going to die so you might as well abandon correct and the other one is saying well you're going to die but you're going to have the the possibility of these further attachments so, so you're being invited to withdraw and is there a difference between abandoning and withdrawing i i don't think it is a kind of a, a difference in uh, uh, how we approach as a uh, individual Mm -hmm. how we uh, approach something which we abandon and how we withdraw from something mm -hmm. uh, but it is a way of uh, i think uh, saying that uh, when you are uh, uh, attached more then you have to have more effort in that that may be kind of in a language uh, that may, uh, that may be uh, reflecting of uh, saying that you as you, uh, your attachments are more to towards your parents then uh, you kind of uh, uh, abandon that uh, thing and uh, 
if, if there is something subtler, then you can withdraw from uh, certain uh, pleasure, pleasurable uh, this thing. Over there, it is a little bit uh, uh, towards the uh, something attachment which we are kind of abandoning, which is your mother and father. Uh, okay. your so there's a stronger, there's a stronger effort. Stronger, stronger uh, emotion, kind of. That is what I, I can uh, uh, kind of okay. feel over here. For individual, uh, it may be okay. different. Okay. Thank you, Bernard. Yeah. So, is there a, any other questions? I have uh, one or two small suttas also I can read for you, which are kind of, uh, uh, yes, uh, somebody wanted to ask a question. I can. Uh, uh, if uh, nobody has any other questions, then I can uh, read one or two small suttas, which are kind of uh, uh, gives us uh, a little bit pointer. I, I have uh, taken out from the Samyutta Nikaya itself. So they are interesting uh, suttas. So we can kind of read them and uh, they are uh, short suttas. Can I, can I ask a question? Yeah. In, in this sutta, um, it talks about how uh, there can be a progression to being an arahant um, as you're progressing, as your consciousness is is, is moving on. Um, and you talked about in a, in the kind of space between uh, getting to the Brahma world. So yeah, that is a different sutta an about the... before, uh, and then I think yeah, yeah. And I my my question is. Um, are, are there other descriptions of what happens when you are not so far advanced on the path? So, for example, um, if you're not even a, a sort of partner, or if you are a sort of partner, um, what what then might happen to the consciousness as 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 you're moving out of out yeah. of this life? There are a few can there be suttas. development similarly? Yeah. Or, um, yeah, there are certain suttas in. Uh, Angutra Nikaya, but uh, kind of uh, we are not uh, uh, means kind of uh, fully sure how it uh, kind of uh, affects some, some person. So uh, we are uh, not uh, generally uh, mentioning those suttas. In those suttas, it has been mentioned that a person uh, who practices uh, in the way of the Buddha and a person who practices uh, uh, on the common uh, uh, process which was followed in uh, India, which was Alara Kalama and uh, Udhaka Ramakuta, that <coughs> kind of a uh, practice. Now, Bhante Vimar Ramsey kind of uh, differentiates between those two practices as uh, the uh, tranquil jhanas and one-pointed concentration. <clears throat> so now, uh, if you have to consider that uh, as a kind of a uh, uh, way of uh, saying uh, that it is a tranquil jhana and a uh, way of uh, saying that it is a uh, one-pointed concentration, just uh, uh, for argument's sake, okay? So uh, what the Buddha is saying that if uh, somebody is following a jhana uh, practice and attains uh, the first jhana or uh, any of the uh, four jhanas uh, or uh, arupa jhanas, if he uh, does that uh, practice, he is uh, uh, well versed in that uh, jhana and he is uh, constantly uh, attaining that jhana. If that is the uh, uh, case and he has also not attained uh, uh, sotapanna, when a person uh, like that uh, passes away, he uh, is reborn in the uh, heaven, which is uh, equivalent to the jhana. If the first jhana has a equivalent heaven you can attain. David is more in, uh, interested in this and uh, he has, uh, I think, uh, uh, PowerPoint pre presentations on those uh, aspects. So, so a person uh, attains the second jhana, he will correspondingly reborn in the second jhana uh, heaven. And then he spends his time on, on that uh, plane and he continues his practice. And he attains a uh, 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 release out from that place that has been mentioned. So Angutra Nikaya, there are uh, two uh, suttas which kind of give, give a clear indication. And there are other, I think one or two suttas which give a uh, kind of a detailed uh, in, 
indication, but it is in a different manner. So what uh, uh, happens to the people who are uh, doing a one-pointed uh, uh, concentration or the uh, practice which is not Buddhist, uh, like no, not the practice which the Buddha is saying. We can uh, say, uh, want to avoid one-pointed concentration, that word, and we can say the practice which uh, is not taught by the Buddha, if the person is doing that, and he attains uh, the uh, that uh, realm of that uh, heavenly uh, 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 abode. Now, when he uh, uh, finishes his time from that place, he directly goes to hell. Why? Uh, because it is like somebody who wins a lottery, okay? And uh, he, when he wins a lottery, he has that bank balance. And he uh, spends it all till the last uh, dollar he has won. So now uh, what would be the next? Uh, he may be living in a mansion, then he is directly put on the street after he has spent all this uh, money. So this is the uh, same way uh, the Buddha is giving an indication that if you are born in a heavenly realm by not following the Buddha's practice, but by following any other kind of practice, like Alana Kama, Kalama or Udagarama Buddha, and you are born in a heavenly realm and your time gets finished. So you stay there for a hundred years or a hundred thousand years or a million years or a hundred million years or whatever is the time period you are uh, supposed to stay over there. After that, you directly are reborn in a hell realm uh, because you have exhausted your ka karmic uh, uh, bank balance. And then uh, that is the indication. So uh, for somebody who follows the Buddha's uh, practice, even if he ha has mastery over one jhana, then also it is possible for the person to be reborn in a heavenly realm and progress over that. So that is the uh, indication. I will share the sutta uh, numbers with you because I think uh, this is there on the, our um, uh, group sayo. Uh, discussion group also. That time I think it was Yahoo, but I think all the messages were transferred. So uh, you can find it on that group also. If you uh, or I, I can uh, find and uh, send you the links. Uh, Sharma had a sense. Uh, is it a sutta on four uh, reassurances indicate that the uh, discerning lay follower? Is at least a uh, stream uh, enter. Yes, that is uh, uh, that is the same thing which we had uh, taken in the Angutra Nikaya. So that is the same uh, sutta, and I kind of uh, read from that. This is the same thing. Is there any other questions? So I will take uh, one or two very small suttas. Uh, they are. Uh, giving a kind of a clarification on uh, certain things which uh, I think uh, uh, people ask a lot uh, about ignorance. This is about ignorance. This is also from Samyutta Nikaya. It is 17, uh, in brackets is a seven, ignorance. This is from Samyutta Nikaya. S uh, sitting to one side, the bhikkhu said to the blessed one, venerable sir, is it it is said ignorance, ignorance. What is ignorance, venerable sir? And in what way is one immersed in ignorance? So Buddha's reply is, bhikkhu, not knowing suffering, not knowing the origin of suffering, not knowing the cessation of suffering, not knowing the way leading to the cessation of suffering. This is called ignorance, bhikkhu. And it is in this way that one is immersed in ignorance. Therefore, Bhikkhu, an ex exertion should be made to understand this is suffering. Uh, this is the origin of suffering. This is the cessation of suffering. And this is uh, the way leading to the cessation of suffering. An exertion should be made to understand uh, this is the way leading to the cessation of suffering. So this is the way the ignorance has been explained in uh, by uh, the Buddha as the four noble truths, not knowing the four noble truths. And uh, uh, Bhante Vivarnamsi also adds about the uh, dependent origination and the three characteristics. So dependent origination also has uh, four noble truths in each of its links. 
and the three characteristics also are there in the three uh, links of each link of dependent origination those things can be found it not being there it coming and it going it being impersonal and uh, anytime we are uh, opposed to something that creates a dukkha so those things are the three characteristics dependent origination and the four noble truth it is the way the uh, bante explains it there is one other uh, sutta about uh, the benefit of practice uh, which is kind of uh, how yes yes sir. you can ask the question I, i just wanted to reference the previous one about yeah the yes, reference uh, just, was uh, uh, reference. 17 17 in brackets it is 7 uh, and the name of the sutta is ignorance okay thank you and i am uh, sure it, it will be difficult for you to find because uh, i am uh, kind of uh, confused regarding the numbering system of uh, samvitha nikaya because then uh, which chapter is there and all those things so i okay uh, if you find uh, or uh, you let me know okay okay then uh, one more sutta i i will take uh, uh, this is about uh, a, a certain uh, questions which are we are, we are asked about uh, our practice also it is related to uh, one uh, clarification of twin so this is a, a sutta also in samyutta nikaya this is 35 in brackets it is 5 and a 100 spears is a name so because suppose there were uh, there were a man with a life span of 100 years who could live a 100 years someone would say to him come good man in the morning they will strike you with a 100 spears at noon they will strike you with a 100 spears in the evening they will strike you with a 100 spears and you good man being struck day after day by 300 spears will have a life span of a 100 years will live a 100 years and then after a 100 years have passed you will make the breakthrough to the four noble truths to which you have not broken through earlier it is fitting because for a clansman intent on his good to accept the offer for what reason because this samsara is without a discoverable beginning a first point cannot be discerned of blows by spears blows by swords blows by axes and even though this may be so because so here we can see that the buddha is saying that see if you were to live for 100 years okay and uh, each morning uh, afternoon and evening you would uh, you, were, you would be stabbed 100 times with a spear and uh, at the end of 100 years you will get insight into the four noble truths still you, you uh, it is a better deal because you don't know how many times you have been stabbed with axes and swords and uh, spears so that would still be a good deal but now if you read the sutta till this uh, you will think that the buddha is uh, kind of uh, uh, saying that you have to work hard and uh, pain should be uh, your kind of uh, you should welcome pain but now the buddha is saying the uh, thing which is important to us and even though this may be so because i do not say that the break breakthrough to the four noble truths is accompanied by suffering or displeasure so he says that i do not say that the breakthrough to the four noble truths is accompanied by suffering and pleasures rather the breakthrough to the four noble truths is accompanied only by happiness and joy so uh, even though uh, if there is a deal given to you you can take that deal of being stabbed but he says that is not the way the way is the breakthrough to the four noble truths is accompanied by happiness and joy so this is the kind of indication of uh, what the bante vimalansi says is that you have to smile and take this lightly 
<laughs> and not uh, make it a serious work out of our practice. So that is what uh, justifies the smile. Uh, many times I kind of uh, listen to people say that uh, smile is not uh, uh, kind of justified, being happy, being light-minded. So the Buddha is also saying that uh, it is possible and uh, it is accompanied by the joy and uh, uh, happiness and uh, not accompanied by suffering or displeasure. So you have to have joy and happiness on the path while you are working. So this is the third uh, sutta uh, from the Sabhyuta Nikaya. So uh, I hope uh, kind of uh, you get uh, idea about the uh, different ways uh, the Buddha is teaching because my interest kind of currently is in the way of the Buddha and how he is teaching in a different manner uh, and in, from this different angles, different aspects. Uh, and uh, But uh, the goal uh, is the same for all uh, his teaching is from uh, taking you from suffering to the cessation of suffering. That is the only goal of the Buddha. Buddha wants everybody to kind of be uh, happy uh, and uh, achieve the ultimate goal of the release from this uh, endless cycle of samsara. Now, endless is not a kind of a, a absolute endless. Uh, what uh, Buddha says is technically is not discernible, not discernible uh, beginning and there is no discernible end. So how much ever we kind of try and see, we will or not be able to see the beginning or how much ever we try to go in the future and uh, uh, see, but we will not be able to see the end. So there is no infinity in that technical sense. So the world is not infinite uh, or uh, it is uh, finite. That all, all uh, does not go through that, but uh, he kind of avoids those uh, kind of phrasing and says that it is not discernible. So you have to continue practice and uh, sometimes uh, it is difficult, but you have to say, that uh, you have to go through the dukkha and towards the end of dukkha. So that is, uh, 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 do you have any other questions or we can end this uh, session now? Yes, Charma. When pleasure or displeasure, and I must see only joy and happiness, certainly, they are double rooted, uh, uh, means uh, two rooted. Ignorance will always be there. When, and, uh, when ignorance when will you... always be when it is a displeasure or pleasure, yeah, there may yeah. be greed and uh, hatred. Along with that, ignorance will always be there. How is it possible just smiling and keeping with you? And uh, is it uh, going to help you? It is not. Uh, and the first, first thing is. See, See I, th I think uh, I think uh, some papers are compiled at the Twim uh, uh, our uh, uh, our uh, uh, what is that ashram mm -hmm. no our dukkha uh, our sukha dhamma sukha without those papers we are not able to understand easily that's what my comment yeah see you have to follow the uh, correct process uh, and please send the papers. This? Uh, so when we are doing a practice, we have to follow the right process. And uh, Buddha says about his own practice that it is like a raft. You use this raft to cross the stream. This end is uh, fearful and that end is safe. And you have a river in between. So what you do is Buddha uh, 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 says about the Dhamma itself that it is like uh, taking sticks and uh, uh, vines and uh, uh, fashioning together a raft to kind of uh, cross over. So what- Even while what holding the raft, I am, I am having an ignorance. That is the main purpose of coming here because my mind is conditioned. Yes, your mind is conditioned, but you have ah. to use the practice in a correct manner. So the, uh, the process of the practice is to understand your own mind and how your mind's attention is moving from one thing to another and how this process is impersonal, how this process is 
creating dukkha for yourself, how it is impermanent, uh, the, uh, the movement which happens, that is also. So you understand your mind and how it is working. And by understanding that mind, you will be able to uh, 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 get rid of your ignorance because you are uh, unable to kind of discern the impermanence, uh, your, uh, uh, that is uh, not self, that is uh, impersonality of uh, all uh, arising thoughts and the dukkha which we create for ourselves. So that when we are uh, kind of uh, uh, understanding in practice, by that understanding, we are uh, uh, taking, getting rid of the ignorance. So the, what is the uh, kind of formula for the Four Noble Truth is you have a, a problem and the, the problem has a cause. And there is a way to uh, reach that, uh, there is a solution for that problem. And there is a way to reach that solution. Okay. So that is by the uh, uh, watching of our uh, attention how it moves from one thing to another, we are uh, coming to know about this fundamental fact of our mind. Yes? Please supply the papers. <laughs> papers? And I, I, I think they are compiled at our uh, Dhammasukha. Uh, okay. Something, you, link or something you are uh, uh, <coughs> speaking. But uh -huh. uh, for easy understanding, we require something because when you say that it is the four noble truths, when I am watching, I lost my ignorance. That, that is over. It is and I should... means you will, there is a process, no? like uh, Buddha says that his teaching is like the inclination of an ocean. It goes uh, so slowly and you go deeper. So there is, uh, there is no uh, like Zen, uh, which is saying that uh, uh, you have a, a moment of clarity. Uh, uh, you are uh, at this point, you are totally uh, ignorant and at this point, you are totally awakened. That is not what the Buddha is saying. Buddha is saying it is like an inclination in the ocean. You slowly go deeper. As you go uh, uh, further, you go deeper. So it is like an inclination. So, uh, and then uh, in the Ganaka Mogulana Sutta also, he says that it is a, a path which is uh, taught in a staggered manner in a proper manner it is slowly slowly you will uh, gain uh, insight into it it is not a sudden uh, clarification you get okay <laughs> okay then we'll share the merits now is there any other questions like uh, we have time at least <laughs> okay then we'll share the merits. May suffering ones be suffering free and the fear struck fearless be. May the grieving shed all grief and may all beings find relief. May all beings share this merit that we have thus acquired for the acquisition of all kinds of happiness. May beings inhabiting space and earth, devas and nagas of mighty power, share this merit of ours. May they long protect the Buddha's dispensation. Sad of sad. Thank you everybody for coming.